Why is it we get more anxious the more tired we get? Oliver Armstrong here, anxiety recovery expert. I'm going to explain this to you based off my research and my personal experience as well as my professional experience with helping hundreds of people around the world overcome anxiety. So it comes down to the fact that anxiety is the activation of the body's survival response. Now what this response does is it perceives threats in our environment both externally and internally. Now the key is in the name. It's called the survival response. In order to survive we need enough energy, right? We need enough mental clarity, we need enough physical energy to be able to fight or to run away. When we are tired the body is not in a position to feel like it can fight. It's not in a position to be able to run away. So what happens is the brain goes on high alert. It starts looking for threats so we can keep away from the threats because we're too tired to fight, we're too tired to run. So we get more anxious and we start seeing all these things. But what happens is we go internally as well and we start focusing on our heart beating rapidly, some random pain in our arm. Oh no, what's that in my stomach? Why is it gurgling like that? So we have the external uh, and the internal as well. And of course all this uh, anxiety keeps us awake. So we can't sleep and because we can't sleep we get more anxious. And then we get more anxious about not sleeping and then that keeps us awake and it just creates this loop. What a lot of people will do is when they get anxious they start distracting themselves or they'll work a lot more. They'll just put more effort into their work to avoid their anxiety symptoms. But what happens is because they're not listening to their brain and their body, their body is telling them, hey, I'm tired, I'm super anxious, I'm perceiving all these threats, we need some time out, we need to go and have a nap, we need to go and have a sleep, we need to go to bed early, I don't want to go on the phone, I don't want to read that book, I just need to sleep. You know, this is essentially what the brain's telling us, but most people don't listen. They'll just go, oh no, I've got this anxiety, I need to distract myself, I'll go on my phone and I'll, I'll scroll endlessly. This has a whole host of other problems, you know, the light in the phone stimulates the brain, the brain's stimulated, it can't sleep, and then it can't sleep, we get more anxiety because we've been awake so long, it's 2am, we've got to get up in like four hours so we get more anxious and then we try really hard to fall asleep, and so on and so forth. So when you have anxiety and when you are trying to overcome it naturally, it's really important that you get on top of your sleep in any way you can. Now it differs for each person as to what to do, but you know there are simple things like don't go on your phone for say two hours before you go to sleep. Don't read books that are overly uh, stimulating, that are too exciting. Don't watch TV an hour or two before bed. Just do a lot of calm stuff, you know, whether that's just sitting down and doing some calm breathing. And you may think, well, I never do that. There you go, right? This is probably the reason why your brain needs some time out. It needs some time out. And most people do not take the time to allow their brain to calm down. We have information coming in from so many different angles. The news is designed to make us anxious. We have endless scrolling on Facebook and other social platforms. You know that, oh, what if I might miss something if I don't stop now? It's this endless scrolling. It sort of, it all creates anxiety where we're instantly in communication with anyone and everyone 24 seven. So just focus on not distracting yourself, but actually getting control of your sleep. Of course, this alone won't resolve your anxiety, but it's a huge step towards successfully overcoming it. I hope this has helped. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions. Thanks so much for watching. See you in the next video.